SeaShield 80 system. Surface preparation. Surface preparation of the substrate is one of the most important stages when installing the Denso SeaShield 80 system. All surfaces are to be free from marine growth, loose rust, loose paint, dirt and so forth. High pressure water blasting is often the selected cleaning method to prepare the pile. The SeaShield 80 system is used primarily on steel and concrete pile structures and is designed for sheltered environments by yacht clubs on marinas and local councils on bridges, jetties, navigation aids and piers. SeaShield Primer. Apply a liberal coating of Denso SeaShield Primer by gloved hand, brush or roller. When applying the paste underwater, it will naturally want to adhere to the gloved hand as it presents a warmer, more adhesive surface than a pile. So it may be useful to use something that has a cold surface, such as a spatula, to apply this product when working beneath the surface. It is important that all voids, concaves, weld scars, spiral and vertical welds and holes are filled. Denso Marine Piling Tape. Spirally apply Denso Marine Piling Tape, beginning with two full circumferential wraps at the bottom of the pile. Then proceed upwards with a 55% overlap. A 55% overlap will provide a double layer of corrosion protection along the length of the pile. It is important that the compound side of the tape is in intimate contact with the substrate at all times. Ensure you apply sufficient tension to provide continuous adhesion and press out any folds or air pockets that may appear. If you finish a roll midway through wrapping, it is important you maintain a minimum one roll width overlap when overlapping a roll with the end of a new roll. Finish the wrapping again with two circumferential wraps at the top of the pile. Densopole 60 HT. In the pile protection zone, apply the Densopole 60 HT tape in a similar fashion to the Denso Marine Piling Tape by starting with two full circumferential wraps at the bottom of the pile. Then proceed spirally upwards, progressing with a 55% overlap. This will ensure a uniform thickness of tape across the entire length of the pile. Commence each new roll by overlapping the last roll by the same length as the tape width. Be sure to eliminate water, air bubbles and wrinkles from under the tape. This process is repeated all the way along the protection zone, finishing again with two complete circumferential wraps. Denso Pile Mesh. Cut a sheet of Denso Pile Mesh to suit the circumference of the pile and tape with allowance for 150 mm overlap. A strapping system is then used to secure the pile mesh at the top and bottom, at most 50 mm from its edge and at gaps no more than 500 millimetres apart. Insert the strapping into the buckle and wrap the strap around the outside of the pile mesh and insert into the opposite end of the buckle. Pull the buckle through hand tight before reverting to the strapping tool to complete tightening. Use the cutter blade on the tool to remove excess strapping. If practical, the position of the overlap and buckles should be located on the sheltered side of the pile.